Welcome to A Few Minutes with the CEO. My name is Al O'Grady, and for the next few minutes, we'll be talking to the president and CEO of Geologics Explorations, Mr. Dunham Craig. Geologics Explorations is a mineral exploration company focused on acquiring and developing projects that have world-class potential. The company's focus is on the Tapal Gold Copper Project located in Mexico. Now, the date of today's recording is Thursday, March 29th, Earlier this week, the company came out with a press release updating the Tapal project. We'll be talking more about that in just a second. Geologics Explorations trades on the TSX under the symbol GIX. Mr. Craig, thanks very much for joining us. Well, thank you, Al. It's a pleasure talking to you again. Okay. Dunham, as I said in my introduction, uh, you had a press release earlier this week. Uh, I'm just going to read the headline because the headline really uh, speaks volumes, and it goes like this. New Tapal resource estimate increases measured and uh, indicated tons by 324%. End of headline. My goodness. How did you manage that? Well, with the drill bit and good science, um, we've studied this project for about a year and a half, and we've been drilling away on it, and finally we sort of locked on to how the system works, and so uh, we drilled in accordance with that. We also, um, this measured and indicated category was intentional to raise that to that level because we're entering into a pre-feasibility study, and according to the rules and regulations of the exchanges, the categories that we have to use in a pre-feasibility study are measured and indicated. So it was a bit targeted on that level. And the second target was to expand areas that we knew were open, and we did that and uh, grew it in the inferred category also. So we hit some very good high grade in the south zone down deep. Um, we're looking at uh, going back and drilling that some more. We also expanded the zones uh, in the inferred category. That will is inside an already calculated operating pit. So that will be drilled off very shortly into also into measured indicated category, further expanding it. And so um, that's how we did it. Um, we just study it, figure it out, see how the system works, and go do it. Well, excellent. Congratulations. Uh, some fantastic results and obviously a reflection of the hard work that uh, you've put into this. You mentioned your pre-feasibility study. This new resource, is that actually included in that pre-feasibility study? Do you have to tinker any numbers, or how does that work? No, it's, um, it's drilled off to a category that has reliability to it that is uh, suitable for a pre-feasibility study. So that's the measured and indicated category. And so we grew the, uh, the resource to that level uh, to drop into the upcoming pre-feasibility. So those will all be converted to uh, proven and probable reserves inside that pre-feasibility study. Okay. You were actually quoted in the, in the uh, press release itself saying that uh, this had exceeded your expectations. I can certainly understand why. So what were your initial expectations? Well, actually, uh, we ended up with uh, a total uh, tonnage of about 227 million tons, jumping up from 150. Uh, we were hoping to get to uh, around 200 million tons as a good sort of baseline for the pre-feasibility study. Uh, we were quite happy to see that exceed that, and that uh, credit goes to our technical team here. We've just done a fantastic job on that. Okay. This project it's, uh, itself, it's a mix of gold, silver, copper, moly. Did, uh, any of, did one of the four uh, elements that I just mentioned have a greater impact on this, or did really all four uh, contribute and join the party, so to speak? Well, gold and copper carry most of the weight of the value of the project. Silver kicks in some. Uh, it's not uh, terribly significant. It's about uh, downstream, maybe uh, 7% of the total revenue. So the majority of the weight is on gold and copper. And so, yes, um, the gold came in quite handsomely, especially in the beginning years of our uh, planning. And so I would say gold probably contributed the most to valuation increase in the project. Okay, so $64,000 question. Where do you go from here? Continue on with uh, our pre-feasibility study. That will be uh, ready to go in June. Um, we've done all the field work on it. It's now at, uh, in the hands of the engineers who are working on it in their desktops. So that's ready to go. It's going very, very well. Uh, I can't see anything that isn't uh, meeting or exceeding our targets as we go along. So that's a major milestone for us because it takes all the minerals that we're talking about and says, okay, here's proven probable reserves. It's the same thing that 
uh, any mining company does before production gives a real sort of validity to uh, the fact that we're actually going to dig this out of the ground to make a mine out of it. Okay. Does this resource estimate uh, change any of your short-term plans in any way, shape, or form? Uh, no. We've already um, recalculated the pre-feasibility to make the project uh, bigger and have a higher throughput on it. We're increasing the size of the plant uh, about 50% to handle that, so that's underway. The big one for us uh, coming up is we've done a lot of work around uh, these three zones that we um, released last week. And <clears throat> what's happening there is uh, we've discovered uh, multiple targets that are looking very, very good to us. So these targets are, uh, we press release those uh, back in uh, about February, and we've got to get out and drill these. They're big zones, they're big targets, uh, they've got big footprints on them. If we intersect anything out there that looks like it's economic, it could change the game of what we're doing, and we'd have to redesign it to a much bigger plant. So uh, we want to get out there right away and drill those targets and see what they produce and how they're going to affect our uh, long-range planning going into bankable feasibility study. Okay. What about financing? Are you well capitalized for this? Yes, we are. Uh, we have um, uh, plenty of cash in the bank to go through with that. Um, we're waiting to sort of get over this decision point and see how much money we're going to need to go through bankable feasibility study later on in the year and uh, make a decision uh, once we've got all of our information put together. Okay. Dunham, uh, fantastic news. Great headline. Certainly speaks for itself. Uh, that's it as far as the formal questions are concerned. As always, my guest gets the last word. Any final thoughts? Anything you'd like to add at this point? Not really, except that uh, I'd like to express my comfort level with... Uh, what the team is doing and how the project's developing. I used to be in the business of trying to find problems with projects, so I'm a bit of a professional at it, and I'm just having a hard time finding a problem going forward with this project. It's very <laughs> simple, and it just keeps sort of rolling along. Obviously, with that headline, you've got some great news and uh, lots of blue skies ahead. So uh, thanks very much, uh, Dunham. I certainly appreciate your time, and uh, I look forward to talking with you again. Okay, real pleasure. Okay. And Geologics Explorations trades on the TSX under the symbol GIX. And you've been listening to Mr. Dunham Craig, President and CEO of Geologics Explorations, on A Few Minutes with the CEO, produced by RBL Communications. I'm Al O'Grady. Thanks very much for joining us.